You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit in Amsterdam and joining me now is Axel Klauberg who is TIP Chairman and also VP and CTO at T-Systems International. Axel, good to talk to you again on Telecom TV. Another year of TIP activities. What's the main news highlights from this year's event? Yeah, together we built. That's the motto of the conference today. So a year ago in London, we did announce uh, field trials. We did announce the first commercial activities, the first RFIs launched by, on one side, Vodafone and Telefonica, by DT on millimeter waves. And indeed, we made steps ahead. We went into commercial deployment. So Telefonica is just presenting on their uh, commercial open RAN deployment in uh, Peru. Uh, likewise, you saw some other announcements recently. And uh, we're on a journey with TIP. You, you, don't change the telco world overnight. So it was always expected to take some time. We're starting with lab deployments to get uh, hands-on while building new solutions. We're going into field trials, commercial deployments, and yes, our journey continues towards an end-to-end -end journey, and we're working on that. And this year also saw the launch of the TIP Exchange. Indeed, even as uh, TIP chairman, it's very difficult to actually keep track which products are in which state. Have they been installed in a TIP community lab? Uh, are they following uh, a TIP blueprint? Uh, have they gone through interoperability testing in a plug fest? And uh, also, are they, for example, accepted in the Open Compute project? And we felt, especially for smaller vendors, it's, it's more and more of a problem. How do they reach out to service providers? How do they get the visibility that the solution actually exists? Even though we have 1,400 people attending TIP Summit here in Amsterdam this year, it's still the, the audience is a little bit larger. So we felt like, okay, we should probably add a web portal where we connect the service providers to the vendors and uh, make it easy for a service provider to find equipment, to actually look at the badges, uh, in which state this equipment is. And uh, we have launched uh, the TIP Exchange platform today. It's live. The products are out here on the show floor. And uh, yes, they are orderable. <laughs> TIP now counts a lot of members, but how do you spread the workload? How do you ensure that more members actively contribute and don't just leave the heavy lifting to a handful of tier one operators? Sure, a smaller service provider typically looks at the larger ones, what, what they are doing. And so for, it is difficult, let's face it, yeah? So in a typical, uh, open organization, whether it's TIP, whether it's uh, similar with Linux Foundation, you only see a small fraction of the members who are actually truly active. But I think that's what we as operators have to focus on, to broaden the base, to truly collaborate, not only among us as operators, but also start a collaboration with our vendor partners, our uh, systems integrators. So that is the different approach. Yeah, so it's less politics and checking is this bit in the spec or not. Uh, it's focused on building and collaboration. So what is it that TIP is attempting to achieve? What does TIP offer the telecoms ecosystem? Ultimately, we want to change the way telco infrastructure is built. And ultimately, that should, it should be possible to also run a full service provider end-to-end -end based on, on TIP technology. Obviously, uh, it's a very big uh, territory, the, the telco industry, we're looking at the radio, looking at the fixed network, it's, it's very big. So let's be realistic. So we're focused on a couple of areas and want to prove that the concept is actually working. And we're doing that with other organizations in collaboration also with other organizations in the industry. We have uh, announced our liaison with the Open Networking Foundation, likewise with the Open Compute Project. Just two examples that the industry is working together. That's what I mentioned at one of the previous Telecom TV interviews. It's very important that we collaborate and avoid overlap between the organizations active in this opening and uh, driving open innovation. And what can we expect to see from TIP in the coming 12 months? Very clearly, uh, over the coming year, we're going to focus more on commercial deployments. Uh, that's for the Wave 1 technologies we have started to work on within TIP already in 2016, 2017. So these developments are mature enough to go into commercial deployments now. A uh, very good example, the disaggregated cell side router, which was uh, 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 worked on in the Open Optical Packet Transport Project Group, that's ready for deployment now. It's general available product from some of our vendor partners, so great example. 
But obviously, we also started working on new technologies. We're running a set of Birds of a Feather sessions at the event here today and tomorrow to actually evaluate is there sufficient interest in the industry to actually look at a topic. And a very interesting topic is still, for example, network management. How do we manage such a new disaggregated network? And um, I think very important as well is the life cycle management as part of this. So what we did in the TIP Community Lab, uh, both at Facebook as well as at Telefonica, uh, focusing on the continuous integration, continuous development and automated testing, I think it's critical for anyone going on the disaggregation route. So how important is CICD to the ongoing transformation progress of, of telcos? And how difficult is it for them to actually implement this model? Yeah, well, let's face it, disaggregation doesn't necessarily make our world easier. So if we don't combine it with automation, uh, it's a high uh, complexity we, we would add and this could not be managed. So uh, disaggregation always goes hand in hand with uh, modern life cycle management and uh, automation. And these two things belong together. And anyone starting with disaggregation without a thought on life cycle management will have a real hard time. Yes, you can go to a system integrator and ask for some help, but uh, if you want to be economically efficient as well, you have to take that responsibility. And what's your message for the wider telecoms ecosystem? Well, the vendors um, are starting to implement this open concept, and you see that in the various parts of the industry, whether it's in the open optical packet transport or in millimeter wave, and we want the vendors obviously to continue on their journey, not just the small ones, but also the larger vendors should adopt the same paradigm. So it becomes a broad movement in the industry overall and the legacy way of building networks is replaced with the new way of building networks. Axel, thank you very much indeed. It's a pleasure.